All right, DLR week 21, day one, Gino Calrinthian. Come on down. Let's, let's see what you got. All right, it says, my friends are coming over for dinner tonight. Oh, I'm so glad that that's on there. My little, my little sister said. Now, first of all, where's the tagline? Where's the tagline? Where's the speaking part? And where's the part that tells who's speaking? Where's the tagline? Uh, Raina. The tagline here is my little sister said. All right, Raina, where's the speaking part? What part's being spoken? Okay, so that is designated by quotation marks. The, the speaking part is my friends are coming over for dinner tonight. My little sister said. So what do we need to do week 21? Uh, wh what do you got going here? The, what mistake did you see? My friends are – I see a spelling error. Ava, go. Tonight, definitely a spelling error there. Do you want to spell it correctly for us? T O N I G H T. All right. Um, I see another one. Who sees it? My friends are coming over tonight. What do we need to do there? Yeah, go ahead. What do we need to do, though? Move the e. It's an E drop if we're talking spelling, right? To add that ING, we need to do what? Drop the E. Right? My friends are coming over for dinner tonight. Comma. Oh, did we have a comma on there? Yeah. I didn't see it. Let me see how I got it. There it is. All right. Comma. Comma. Uh, my little sister said. I don't see anything else. So it looks like for that one, we have two corrections. Stop calling my room, man. It's right now. It's Mr. T. Yeah. Oh, cool. Let's try it all. Set it down. Charlie. Can I leave it? Charlie. Your backpack's here. But wait till I'm done with the DLR. All right. So what are your... Listen, take a look at number two. So for number one, we have... Two corrections for that one. All right, ready? How about this one? What are your friend's favorite foods to eat? Mom asked. Where's the tagline in that one? The tagline. What are your friend's favorite foods to eat? Mom asked. J. Kent, you know? Tagline. Where, where is it? Tells us who's speaking. It's mom asked. Very good, J. Kent. So mom asked is my tagline. Good. Where's the speaking part? What part is being spoken? Anya. What are your there it is. All right. So where are the where are the mistakes now? Ooh, I see a couple. Go go ahead. Um. Yeah, CJ. Where? On the first one, I think. No, the the oh, second. That's the first one. Yeah. The second one. I. But you're right. After after eat. That after eat. After eat, we need to replace the yeah. comma with a question mark. He's right. So, what are your friend's favorite foods to eat? Yeah, that needs to be a question mark. Yeah. Yeah, not a comma. Now, I see another one. It has to do with an apostrophe and, um. Possessive. Yeah, Roxy, you think you got it? Okay. Whose favorite foods? No, whose favorite foods are we talking about? Your whose? Friends. So we need a, an S apostrophe, right? What are your friends' favorite foods to eat? Question mark. Mom asks. I think that's it. That is it. So on this one, we have one, two. Two corrections. All right. It says, 
My sister uh, says, add punctuation. Oh, this is good. You guys ready, boys, in the back here? Ready, Jay? We're adding punctuation, so take a look. Ready? Take a look, Jay. It says, my sister handed mom a note that said, we would like mud pie for dinner. Now, wait a minute. It's a long tagline, but where's the tagline in this one? Gino. My sister handed mom a note that said. Yes. So what do we need after the to separate the tagline from the speaking part? Comma. Boom. So we're going to add comma there. And then what do we need to add around the part that's being spoken? Okay, where do they go? Go ahead, come on up. Go ahead, come on up. I'll have you. I'll have you even mark them in. All right, uh, we'll do this. Up, go ahead, grab the grab the. Uh, Gino. Gino, the pen's already set for you. Go ahead, Gino. add those quotation marks right in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Gino said we needed quotation marks here and here. That's it. Good job. Good job. All right. Circle the meaning of the of the bold word root. Boy, that was a weird way of saying it. Circle the meaning of the bold word root. I usually say root word. All right. When it was time to eat, I saw two empty chairs and my sister's invisible friends. So it wants to circle the meaning of the bold word root. So this is the bold word root. What is the meaning? To see, to move, to speak. Riker. I mean, I was like, the entire word invisible normally would mean to see. To not be able to oh, see. Yeah, well, look, wait a minute. If viz means to see, hold on, you ready for this? If viz means to see, and in means not, and ibble means able to, so it would be not able to see. Do you see how the words all have a section that help you figure out what it means? Invisible means not able to see. As long as you know that the root viz means to everyone. There it is. All right. There's your DLR week 21, day one, Tadero out.